This is a video guide on how to get the Evil Spirit Armor, which is the chest plate only. This is at the Lome Labyrinth Island walkthrough, which is at the top right of the map over here. So this one is gonna be pretty interesting. So we actually have to activate or get to this one easier by going through this cave over here. So going through this cave that is right by the shrine, you will see the big cave entrance here. You can't miss it. You're basically gonna follow the main tunnel all the way till the end. It's super, super easy until you find this area. Once you do get to this area with all these like, you know, these ruined structures here, all you have to do is ascend up. Now you gotta be very careful. In this room, there is a chest, but we have to ascend through that pillar over there. So keep in mind that pillar. There will also be those gloom hands here. I'm gonna avoid them entirely. If you wanna fight them, you can. I'm just gonna ascend up here before they even get to me so that I can leave. And immediately as you get up here, you're gonna go to the left and you're gonna go through the water over the logs. We're gonna go to those logs at the back right over there. So we're gonna go through this pathway. This is just a shortcut to where the hand symbol is. You can, of course, explore this your own way if you want to and see what else there is. There's no doubt chests and things and weapons and random stuff hidden throughout the entire runes, but you can just follow along with my path way here where are we going just to get it done it's kind of a very straight route from here you can't really get lost like there's no left or right it's kind of just only going forward until you eventually end up at the hand thing but i'm still going to show you anyway here's the hand thing on the left activated and this will tell you that you need to go to the labyrinth in the sky which is that one over there it's in the distance now to get here, you're gonna have to take the tower. I'm gonna show you which tower right now. So the, the labyrinth is in the sky at the top right of the map, just above the normal one on the ground. You're gonna have to get to like this island or this island or like one of these like floating islands here in the sky by using the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower and just, you know, flying to one, to one of these towers so that you can build a device to fly the rest of the way because it is a very, very far distance. You're not gonna be able to glide there. You're gonna have to build a device. I, re I recommend using like something like the bike where you use a steering wheel with like angled uh, fans facing downwards. And if you're gonna use big batteries, only use one. I put two on and it was a complete waste. You only need one big battery to make this trip. You don't even end up touching your own battery at all. It's like, it's fantastic. Look at this. It's still like the battery's still full. I made it all the way here. Once you do get here, activate the hand button thing. This will open up the puzzle. The puzzle's incredibly easy. I think the biggest thing you should pay attention to is where the yellow things are on your map. You will have to open up your, your quest over here. Just make sure you are tracking it. And then you can see on your map here, you can track the yellow little dots there. You just have to follow the maze to get to those locations. It's super simple. I recommend when you're doing this, watch your minimap at the bottom right the entire time. And if you need like a quick overview, open up your map to see which direction you should be going. And then just make those turns by following your minimap at the bottom right at all times. That's honestly, I'm not even like watching my character. I was only watching the minimap. Once you get all four of those, there will be a hand terminal that will appear at the top and you'll have wind where your current location is to fly all the way up. Go to the handprint thing, very simple, very easy. Once this does happen, it's gonna tell you to jump off the ledge. So jump off the ledge and you're gonna aim for the red hole that takes you to the depths where you will fight a boss. This is a construct three boss. I'm gonna show you the fight here. Maybe some tips on how to how to beat it. I recommend using ultra hand and trying to grab its special like part, which is it's like its face and then attacking that and, and just beating it. It's, it's, it's kind of easy. Once that's done, you have to use a handprint thing over here and this will make a chest appear behind you in the middle of that room go open up that chest and then inside that chest you will find the evil spirit armor i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching